Good evening. Here is the news at 9. First, the highlights. Lagos State Tax Force reads multi OK of roadside petroleum dealers' shanties. Federal government inaugurates past sector communications team to enhance transparency. On the foreign scene, Iran's parliament approves 19 ministers as cabinet members. And in sport, United States pledges to boost basketball games in Nigeria. Now the details. I am John Omwaka. Legal State Tax Force has taken critical steps to curb the escalating challenges posed by roadside vendors and the proliferation of shanties along Maltuoke on the Oshudia Papa Expressway. This swift action is part of the planned programs of the chairman of the agency, Ade Tayo Akerele, to protect and preserve the environment in line with the themes plus agenda of the state government. Akerele said among the most pressing issues addressed was the illegal sale of petrol and diesel by the roadside, where over 2,000 litres of petroleum products were seized. He assured that the Lagos State Tax Force remains committed to ensuring the safety and well-being of all residents. And the operation is a testament to that commitment, stressing that the agency will continue to monitor the area to prevent the resurgence of illegal activities which impede free flow of traffic. The Lagos State Health Management Agency, LASHMA, has restated its commitment to sensitize residents of the state on the benefits of Ilera Eco and the responsibilities of service providers in ensuring the protection of the rights of consumers under the Lagos State Health Scheme, LSHS. Permanent Secretary Lashma Emanuela Zamba said this at a media parley jointly organized by the Lagos State Health Management Agency, Lashma, and the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency, LASCOPA. Zamba said the program was aimed at discussing significant developments, innovations, and consumer protection in health management services across Lagos State in commitment to the Lira Eco scheme, which is now mandatory for all Lagosians in a bid to access quality healthcare delivery in the state. We are having a media party which marks the collaboration between the agency and with the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency. And what this collaboration is all about is to show that Lashma is taking, putting his best foot forward to ensure that even though Mr. Governor has come out to say with the executive order that the social health insurance plan is now mandatory, we want to show consumers that this plan, even though it is now mandatory, we are here to serve you. We are going to ensure that you get quality services. We are going to maintain the affordability of the scheme, and we are here to ensure that your rights are not infringed upon. Once you become an Illyria Eco Enrolli, you are, should be assured of quality services. You should have, be sure that the agency has a listening ear, and we are collaborating with this agency who is responsible for consumer protection. The general manager of Las Copa, Apolabe Sholebo, noted that the agency had resolved over time over 9,000 cases bordering on the protection of consumers' rights in the state. Sholiba urged beneficiaries of Ilera Eco scheme to seek redress through the agency whenever their rights have been infringed upon by service providers or they did not get value for their money. The bottom line is that if any of these uh, either private or public um, hospitals are keen into this scheme, we expect quality and quality and standard uh, services being rendered to the beneficiaries who we refer to as uh, consumers. So I think it's a very laudable thing and uh, the, the public should be well assured that the legal state consumer protection will always protect their rights no matter who is involved and no matter who sucks is God. That is uh, rendering quality and standard uh, services to members of the public. In their testimonies, in their testimonials, beneficiaries of the health insurance scheme commended the Lagos State Government for the initiative which had brought soccer by addressing the health challenges of residents as well as staff of both private and public organizations. So I registered all of our employees on the platform uh, since over a year now. 
and it's been wonderful. People should go register. The price is so um, affordable. And um, as a matter of fact, one of our staff gave birth on the program through CS, and the hospital that she had access to was very premium. And I was like, for so little that we paid, she was able to have access to this um, type of level of um, LK. It's really good. So it's something that I recommend for every location that they should go out there and subscribe for. At this junction, I'm advising all Lagosian. Nigeria has become a structured society. The best you know, the best you can take advantage of your society. I can tell you, your health is secured for the next one year. We all know what health challenges people are going through in the world. They urged the agency not to relent in its efforts to ens in ensuring quality service delivery to Lagosians. The Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, LSETF, and the United States African Development Foundation, USADF, have signed a memorandum of understanding to uplift the lives of citizens, especially those in vulnerable and undeserved communities. Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment, Akiemi Ajibatafe, emphasized that the event aims to forge a powerful partnership symbolizing collective commitment to uplifting the lives of the citizens. Ajik Botafe underscored the remarkable achievements in previous collaborations, including engagement with 41 government-approved training institutions and a train of over 105,000 beneficiaries across various sectors and trades. <laughs> And now to the rest of the stories. The federal government has inaugurated a past sector communications team in a bid to enhance transparency and communication within the past sector. Minister of Power Adebayo Adelabu emphasized the importance of effective communication in addressing the sector's challenges. Adelabu described the team as a strategic initiative designed to bridge the gap between the past sector and the public. He noted that the past sector, which is often misunderstood and fraught with challenges, requires a platform for clear and consistent communication to build trust and confidence. Chairman of the past sector communications team, Bolaji Tunji, stressed the importance of stakeholders' engagement, noting that regular dialogues, workshops, and forums will be organized to foster better understanding and cooperation among all players in the past sector value chain. President Bola Tinubu has mourned the victims of the devastating flood in Jigawa State, assuring that the state government of his administration's support. Over 16 people were killed and more than 3,000 were displaced in flood disasters in 14 local government areas of the state. The president, in a statement by spokesman and Juri Nali, condoled the state government over the issue that also displaced many residents of the state. The statement added that the president prays for the repose of the souls of the deceased and assures the people of Jigawa of his administration's support at this difficult time. Now to foreign news. Iran's parliament has approved all 19 ministers of President Masoud Mezekian, the first time in more than two decades a leader has been able to get all of his officials through the body. The cabinet approved on Wednesday after days of debate is cross-factional, reflecting the president's focus on consensus. In contrast, the former president, Ibrahim Rice's team, which was considered hardline, the new cabinet includes reformist figures, which are, such as Health Minister Mohammad Zriza Zamfakadi, who secured his position despite receiving lowest number of votes at 163. President Bezekian said in a speech to the 285 parliamentarians, said the road to salvation is unity and solidarity, urging them to give their vote of confidence to the cabinet. Now sports. The United States has pledged to increase its investment in developing basketball in Nigeria to open more opportunities for Nigerians to play in the National Basketball Association. U.S. Consul General Will Stevens announced this during the opening ceremony of the What If Youth and Women Empowerment Initiative basketball camp in Lagos. Stevens noted that Nigeria boasts boundless talent across various sectors in the United States 
through the U.S. African Development Foundation, leveraging the talent to give back to the respective communities. He emphasized that the U.S. League is open to more Nigerian players. And that's our news at 9, but just before we go, slow down at road junctions, intersections, and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us on like all our various social media platforms. X at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sawulu administration completed the Lekki Free Trade Zone jetty and offloading platform? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. <laughs> Lagos State Tax Force has taken critical steps to curb the escalating challenges posed by roadside vendors and the proliferation of shanties along Mount 2 OK on the Oshidia Papa Expressway. The federal government has inaugurated a past sector communications team in a bid to enhance transparency and communication within the past sector. We also tell you that Iran's parliament has approved all 19 ministers of President Masoud Mezekian. The first time in a more than two decades, a leader has been able to get all of his officials through the body. And in sport, the United States has pledged to increase its investments in developing basketball in Nigeria to open more opportunities for Nigerians to play in the National Basketball Association. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends a news broadcast compiled by Sadiq Yusuf. I am John Omwaka. Thank you very much for listening.